All right, hey guys. Today is gonna be kind of a vlog over the course of two days as we have a project happening here that's gonna span a couple days. Uh, so, there's a voice. <laughs> hanging out in the truck watching, but um, we are getting the plywood for the, <laughs> getting the plywood for the subfloor uh, for a couple of the studios that we're doing the really heavy duty subfloor on. So there's gonna be a bunch of plywood um, going on the trailer and then we're gonna go park it. Um, my brother actually has a lawn care and snow removal business here in town so we're actually going to go park it um at his business and uh, that way it's in the shop and safe and all of that so that's that's what we're up to. <laughs> all right we'll warp ahead once they get this all loaded all right, so they've got the regular plywood loaded up, and now we're gonna get the tongue and groove. I'm trying to find a good spot to stand here. Um, now we're gonna get the tongue and groove um, plywood on there, and then this is what we use to make um, a nice, we call it a sprung floor, but it's not really sprung. Um, it just has foam underneath it, so it has a little bit of cushion um, for the dancers who dance a lot. It helps keeps their, keeps their joints um, doing well as they're not um, having to hit like a like a hard floor like uh, concrete or something where there's no give to it um, so we talked about the floors a little bit in previous vlogs but yeah so now we're actually getting getting our plywood and then tomorrow night step two of the project is we have some dads um, offering to come help and they are going to carry this all upstairs. So that's gonna be the fun part. It doesn't fit in the elevator, so it has to be carried up. So we've got a few, quite a few dads that are coming to help, so thankful for that. Um, and we will keep going with this vlog tomorrow so that um, you can kind of see this project, at least the first phase of this project kind of happen. All right, we're almost loaded up and I found the perfect place to, to stand and hold my phone. Um, <laughs> but we pretty much got what we need. I'm gonna walk around the trailer so you can see in a second. Um, this will do two studios um, sprung floor. So you need two different types of plywood um, to do this. And so I'll walk around and show you. Hi guys. <laughs> so that's all one kind. And then this is all the tongue and groove. So yeah. Next step is to take it and park it in the shop for the night. Um, and then we will move it up the stairs uh, with some great help tomorrow night. All right, it's almost all secured. Josh is getting some ratchet straps and get it all secured here so that we can drive it a little ways, park it in the shop. So. We'll catch up with you there. All right, we're over here at my brother's shop. We're gonna pull pull the load in here and just kind of leave it in the shop for the night. So we don't have to worry about covering up with tarps or uh, anything like that. So he had a little extra room in the shop. So we're gonna take it. <laughs> um, and then we will um, come get it tomorrow night and take it over to Nordic and we'll unload it. So this is where we'll, it will sleep here tonight and then it will go to its forever home uh, on Nordic. So he made it. It's a pretty big load so he was going a little bit slower than we were. Um, so hopefully he doesn't pop a tire or something like that. So luckily he made it here. So we're gonna get this in and then we're gonna have supper. And like I said, we'll just continue this vlog. We'll have this one go um, over the course of two days so that we can get you an update of the building and um, the rest of this project as well. All right, bye guys. 
Hi guys, well, you can see my friendly Cedar Falls Follies <laughs> um, are here. And we also had signs, signs and designs. She's just leaving as well. Uh, let me explain the, the police officer first and then I'll tell you what's going on today. So it's um, the morning on Thursday right now. Remember we are purposely doing the vlog over the course of two days, right? So yesterday we got the plywood. Now today we're doing a lot of other things and finishing, oh, not finishing up, but moving the plywood. So <laughs> right now, currently in the building, the alarm system is for the entire, entire building, right? So there's two keypads um, currently, and this is how the university had it set up. Uh, one by this front entrance and one over by the tenant area. And so what happens, this building's so large and even just in the parking lot, you really can't see from the front parking lot to the side parking lot, you can't really see if somebody else is here or not. And so we do currently have one tenant in the building. We want more, uh, but she's currently in here. And so when she leaves her class, if it appears to her that, that nobody is here, which she's absolutely doing the right thing, she sets the alarm. But like today, I was actually here. And then if I walk around in the space, it sets off the motion alarm. And apparently how they have this set up is a little bit differently than, um, well, I guess I don't know because I don't know that we've ever done this at university, but it's a little bit different than just opening a door to come in. So if the alarm is set and you open a door to come in, then you put in your code and you're good to go. If you set off a motion detector, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you put in your code or not, the cops come, well, well, or they they call the monitoring company and then they dispatch. So what happened this morning was Vaughn from Signs and Designs and I were in here walking around. Um, the tenant set the code. We walk, we set off the motion detector, and then the alarm company calls me. And I think that sometimes they just don't get it. They don't cancel dispatch fast enough. There's already an officer on route and so they just go ahead and and follow it through so i got to talk to one of our um wonder i mean they are just awesome and i'm glad that they come and check it out uh, it makes you feel good but i feel also feel bad that we're using resources uh, that for a silly reason so i did explain to him the alarm system situation and how once we get this all figured out that should no longer happen um, there shouldn't be the confusion that there is right now. So, um, Hawkeye Alarm is our local alarm company. They service a lot of alarms in our general region. And they're just super busy right now. Uh, they were not able to, we've been in contact with them for months actually. And because of, sorry, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> um, because of they service all the schools in the area and like their fire panels and do all the testing and stuff for that. So because of that, their summers are really, really, really busy. And then she said they had a few hiccups along the way. And so they're actually still not done with all the schools, even though all the local schools have been back in session for about, what, two weeks now. And so they're finishing that up and then they're working on getting caught up with their other commercial work. And so, yeah, <laughs> that's where we're at right now. I'm kind of waiting on them, but obviously it, it is what it is. Um, but then causes us to have a few hiccups along the way too uh, with things like this. Okay, well that explains the police officer. Now, <laughs> let's move on to what we're doing today. So, it's morning, like I said. Uh, Maddie A and Amanda F are coming this is how you know your staff's getting big when you have to start using last initials. <laughs> um, they are coming today to help with a few different random things, some cleaning, um, some moving of items. The plan would be to get this pile of stuff that's over there, um, get that pile of stuff up to the storage room upstairs. That's where it goes. The issue is the storage room upstairs isn't clean yet. 
So we're gonna work on that. I have a few other random things for them to work on while they're here today. And then I have a whole list of like office stuff that I need to work on. And then later this afternoon, kind of after work time, we have quite a few dads who've offered um, or been offered up, one of the two, uh, to come help carry plywood up the stairs. So uh, they will have that trailer that you saw previously from yesterday to unload and haul upstairs and be ready for um, Josh to work on the sub floor. So lots of flooring stuff is gonna be coming your way in the next few vlogs for sure. Uh, and then as today goes on, I will just kind of keep you posted on on the fun, the fun that we have. Um, yesterday, I didn't vlog earlier in the day because I don't know, I thought it wasn't gonna be that exciting. We ended up getting the plywood and stuff, so I wish I would have, but yesterday there were just a few things. Um, the electricians were here, and so that's exciting. They, um, they are working on the parking lot lights, which is kind of out of the scope of the normal construction. That wasn't like in the construction budget or anything like that. But what we found is all of the, the actual lights, the guts of the lights needed to be replaced. So um, they are, were doing that. And they actually might be back today to finish this project, but they were here working on preparing for that and kind of getting ready for that. And then uh, they were also installing a photo eye. So supposedly the, the end goal is that all of our exterior lights, so all the parking lot lights um, that are out there, the like overhangs when you come in above the doors and the lit signs, that all of those will come on at the same time when it starts to get dark and they will go off when it starts to get light and we don't have to mess around with adjusting it uh, because of the time of year. So where we live, um, it drastically changes. In the summer months, it can be light till, what, 9.30, almost 10 o'clock at night. Uh, and then in the winter months, <laughs> it's getting dark by like five o'clock. And so, and it's just a constant, like every day, right, is a different time that it's getting lighter or, or darker. And so we really thought the photo eye was worth it. Um, and so they are installing that or did install it. Uh, and then they'll get all the parking lot lights. So we'll have a nice lit space. Um, if you guys know me at all, safety, number one, always um, has to be <laughs> over anything else is the safety of everybody that's here, our staff, our families, our students, um, our guests, anybody that is here, we want to be safe. And so uh, our tenants in the building as well. And so it's it's bothered me uh, for the last couple weeks that you know more and more staff have been here. We've got tenants here and we don't have those parking lot lights working. But again, kind of out of our hands of, of when those arrived to the electricians and when they're able to get it done. But should be done today. I think. Uh, oh, one more thing to tell you that's exciting. When Vaughn was here this morning from Signs and Designs, she did share that the big lit pink sign that's going to be on the building should be getting put up on Wednesday of next week. So uh, I will hopefully be able to vlog that. I'm excited for that to go up. Uh, not only it's just neat, it's just cool, uh, but also it's, it should help uh, bring a little bit more attention to the building, uh, you know, identify the building a little bit more clearly if anyone's confused, that kind of thing. So I'm really excited for that aspect of it as well. So I think that's everything that I have to tell you to kind of get you caught up of what happened yesterday uh, and what's happening today. And we'll just kind of vlog pieces throughout the day and keep you updated. Hopefully no more police officers, right? All right, bye guys. All right guys, so we're gonna vlog a little bit and update you with what um, is going on. So Maddie A is here. She's working upstairs with some storage stuff. We have a bunch of storage here 
that needs to go to the upstairs storage room and we also have a bunch of storage in another room that needs to go to the upstairs storage room. So she's working on cleaning the upstairs storage room so we can get that stuff out. Um, a lot of the stuff that you see in this room, like all the Christmas trees and stuff, um, need to go upstairs. So the other thing, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but we do have a internet networking guy coming here soon to talk to us about that. But I wanted to show you what we have going on outside. So Ted Electric is here um, and they are working on those parking lot lights. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys. Um, they're in the really crappy part of the parking lot right now, but they are, you can actually see if you look up there, the light is gone right now. The actual light itself. Um, and then they are putting new lights up there. Um, so they'll all be, they'll all be new. They'll be LED and you know, we should be good to go for a while, hopefully, and the parking lot will be nice and um, safe and, and bright so everybody can safely get to and from their vehicles um, throughout the parking lot. So that's exciting. I wanted to show you that. Uh, and then the computer guy, the internet guy. So the issue that obviously we have with a building this large is that it's not the normal situation where you just plug in a router and you're good to go. <laughs> uh, we need to have kind of a network happening so that we can get internet throughout the entire space. So that is something he um, is going to come and work on with us. And today the plan is for him to just kind of come and check out the building, look around and see what kind of what we're working with. And then he'll go from there to make a plan and we'll, we'll figure it out from there. So the, I'm gonna show you this mechanical room down here. This is the big, this is kind of the big electrical room. There's actually multiple of these in the building. Um, but somewhere in here is where the internet comes into the building. And we are really in the corner of the built so I, you know, one of these, you know, some, Something here um, is the internet. And so the issue is we are way in the corner of the building right now. So if we just put one router in this room, there's absolutely no way um, <laughs> it's just gonna make it all the way across the building and upstairs to those studios that are on the other side. Um, you know, it might not even, if we look down the hallway here, you know, we're way back here in the corner of this room, my office is in the opposite front corner there. It may not even go that far, right? So we have to get a plan and I am not the person to make that plan. I have no idea uh, how to do this. And so thankfully CFU had um, a couple people that they could recommend. And so the first recommendation was somebody who did um, answer and was able to come out and see it today. So we're going to meet with him, walk around, let him get a feel for the building and, and decide what we need to have happen. So uh, I have no idea um, what this is going to entail. But again, we knew that with this building, like we knew there was going to be so many things that we didn't know what we were doing. And instead of being like scared of that, or afraid of that, or um, I would say the old Allison would have been more like, I don't wanna look stupid. Like, you know, I, if I start asking questions and I don't know about this stuff, like then I look stupid. So I, I, I'm kind of scared to get into something that's gonna make me look like I don't know what I'm doing. And the new Allison's like, yep, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna find people who do and that they can teach me. And then guess what? I am that much more well-rounded. I know that much more about that much more. And I'm able to continue to grow my business and impact the community more and more and impact more and more families and more and more students with our positive programming. That's what motivates me. Um, I am not deterred by not knowing something anymore. I'm actually encouraged 
uh, to chase after it and say, Leah, I don't know what I don't know what's going on here. Um, help me figure it out, expert. Yeah. So uh, that's kind of where we're at with this whole networking thing. We'll figure it out. I will vlog probably after he after he leaves, unless he's working on something, and I can vlog while he's working on it, um, and just kind of update you with what what he said and what direction he's thinking we need to go in to ensure that we have you know good a good strong internet connection throughout the entire building so i'll update you guys in a little bit well good thing we were here today um the venting machine showed up had no idea it was coming today but it's here so luckily we were here um and we're gonna get this get this in and set up so this will be exciting we want to prop probably well, more doors Let's just prop them for them. We're gonna prop a few more doors open. Then they have plenty of room to come in. And then we'll, we'll watch them come in. Maddie, do you wanna grab a rock to put under there? Oh, it's sunny out. You got it. All right, we'll warp ahead a few minutes here. Wait till it gets exciting. All right, quick update. So we've got the Ted Electric guys here working outside, finishing up or working on those um, lights. So that's exciting. We talked about that earlier. And then I'll show you the vending machine. I'll update you with a couple other things that are going on. Let me close this door too. We had it propped because we have a lot of people in and out right now. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the vending machine and then I will talk to you about my meeting I just had about the computer or internet network and all that. So let's see the vending machine. Here it is. We've got to learn how to use it now. <laughs> so vending machine is here and in its place. Um, we got some, oh my, <laughs> we got some stuff here to read and figure out how to, how to use it, but it's here. So we're going to, we're going to be excited about that. Um, and then we have another, um, electrician company here fixing or making sure that all the like, uh, emergency exit lights and all that kind of stuff. Um, that those are good to go and then we've got Maddie A and Amanda F working on storage and then um, there's, there's people all over today and I wasn't necessarily expecting that but it's okay the vending machine showed up had no idea uh, <laughs> whatever. I guess it's good I was here today um and then the internet situation so when I called CFU, oh, let me adjust that. When I called CFU um, about internet the other day, they were like, yeah, no problem. Like we can get that active and you just plug in a router and you're good to go. And I was like, you know, how do I nicely say, like, I, I don't want to sound conceited or anything, but like, I don't think it's that simple in this building. And so I just kind of made sure he knew what building we were talking about. And then once he, connected the dots he was like oh yeah no no that's not gonna work um you're gonna need to bring in like a network specialist <laughs> great so um that's who i met with just now and he was awesome um i can tell he really loves what he does he's very passionate about it and he knows what he's talking about so that's always comforting right and we walked through and he has a plan um for we need like eight access points throughout the building is what he's thinking to get more or less the whole building covered, but for sure um, the offices and the studios and like the lounges and the areas where we absolutely need it, right? Um, maybe not every single hallway um, is gonna have great internet Wi-Fi, but we don't need it necessarily in like a hallway. So he thought eight sounded like a good number. Um, and then uh, he's got a little bit more work he wants to do here of just kind of figuring out exactly where certain, like tracing certain cords and kind of figuring out where they go. 
Uh, but yeah, he thought, you know, maybe in a week or two. Uh, so we're, <laughs> we're cutting that close, but we, we always figure it out. Um, you know, we used my phone hotspot actually, uh, in another hotspot during open houses. So we always, we always figure it out. Um, but should we take a look and see? I'm curious. Um, I've been kind of preoccupied. So let's take a look and check on um, Maddie and Amanda and see what they're getting done as well. Um, so yeah, we can check out that um, that room. So we're gonna warp upstairs. <laughs> All right, so they're hauling stuff up. Thank goodness we have an elevator. And then they said it's getting full already. Okay. So I'm. Well, okay. No, yes. It doesn't look full when you look at it. It I'm doesn't thinking, look full. <laughs> well, yeah, all the shelves, and then you have to Well, and the shelves might help because, right, you can stack it higher. We could always put two rows of shelves. We could do one row of shelf up against that wall, and then we could do like a row of shelving in the middle. Yeah, I think we're going to have two. So this is the upstairs storage is all of the like stuff that is going to go in the studios basically. Um, craft supplies, the supplies for um, like summer camps and stuff like that. And then we had to find a place to put this stuff that they highly suggested we didn't throw away because um, these like these metal commercial grade um, door things are well over a thousand dollars a piece they said so if we ever want to replace something or uh, say we add a we want to add a wall somewhere and put a door up then we would be able to have a matching one for free <laughs> so and then some lights and stuff so we've got to figure out how to keep this stuff in here and condense it as much as possible so that we have enough room for our upstairs storage as well. But they cleaned up here, so it smells good, and it's all nice and clean, which is awesome. Um, yeah, and then we just need to get the shelving in here. I think that will help a lot as well. So yeah, so this is our upstairs storage room. Looking pretty good. Things are happening. Um, at this point, it's just kind of everything everything at once it feels like but that's good and we knew that was gonna happen um, too we knew that as we as we got closer and closer right then all these final touch things can start to happen so we're getting really close um, funny story not really funny but you know the piano room is in here um, this door has been propped open all summer long because I did not want it to get closed because I don't know that we know this code um, <laughs> and somehow it got closed so we can't get in there and the internet guy thinks that there might be something in here he needs to see so <laughs> best best laid plans right all summer long that stayed open um, and somehow it got shut it just has to be recently within the last week or so um, it got shut, so. Oh, I guess I can show you the studios quick. They're definitely getting cleaned. So you can see the hallways are cleaned cleaned up. Studios are more or less cleaned up. You can see it's still a little bit cloudy. Um, at some point, we just are gonna move on with life. Um, oh, it's funny, you can see the... <laughs> All of a sudden, I looked and there's a person out the window. <laughs> Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, so we might just go ahead and lay flooring, um, over top of this. It's not necessarily dirty. It's just a little bit cloudy. Um, this is fun. We can see, we can see up close a little bit better of what they're doing up here. So I wonder, I'm guessing this is one they haven't done yet. It's going to be my guess. So... They get to the light and then they go up. And I believe they're actually taking, as we saw earlier, it looked like they actually take this whole top piece off. And they're putting new guts in it, I think. Oh geez, that one's not back on. Let's see if I can go over there. 
there so you can see it. I don't want to go too fast and make people sick, but. <laughs> um, or maybe because they're LED, that's what they look like. I don't know. It looks like there's nothing there. Hmm. That's the one they just came from. Interesting. <laughs> well, we'll find out. We'll find out. But yeah, they're going to take that off. Fun. Fun, fun. Uh, so yeah, anyway, studios are cleaned, basically, um, which is exciting to finally see them cleaned up. And then tonight we'll be bringing that um, plywood up. Fox Studio. Uh, bringing the plywood up for the subfloor. So that's gonna happen this evening. So there they are with the elevator. We're just so glad we have an elevator though. That's super helpful. Uh, bathrooms up here have been cleaned. Um, if you were watching a, a vlog from earlier, you'll know that there was a, in the men's, I think the cleaning lady took it down. Um, oh, there's still one up. There's still one up. The Stall Street Journal. And look at the date on it. <laughs> so, we're pretty sure that these haven't been cleaned in a while and they were really bad. And so they're much better, uh, much, much better than they were. Um, you can see, like some of them are, are really clean. Some of them you can see like still have that stain, but the whole, like the whole thing was like that. So um, much, much cleaner than what they were. Um, we still need to go in and kind of take like that stuff out, but yeah. So anyway, the men's right now, but it doesn't really matter. Nobody's here. Uh, other than us. Well, I guess that's not true. The electricians are here, but nobody's upstairs. Um, so to this point, it's pretty clean. And then over this way where they're coming and going, just kind of has a once over on the floors and stuff in the walls. And so cleaning people will be back to work on that. So yeah, um, that's about the update so far today. I'll vlog a little bit later when all the guys are here moving the plywood up. So they've got to take it up the stairs here. They'll come in kind of over here, come down this hallway, bring it up. The good thing is we have really wide, you know, this is a really wide open staircase. So that's nice. And then they'll take the plywood up and then they'll go to the left um, to the studios over here. Um, I will follow up with you guys later tonight when we have that happening. Thank you. All right, guys, so the electricians that were outside have left, and actually the ones that were inside have left as well, but I think the new LED lights are just that much thinner as I'm looking out here, so I wanted to show you that. The lift is back in its place, um, so I'm guessing they're all done, and yeah, if you look, now that I'm outside, I can see it a little better. That's an actual light, so I think, we're good to go. Um, I think they have them all, all done. And then the other really promising thing, I'm gonna go back in because it's kind of windy. The other really promising thing is for the last couple weeks, uh, it's right here under the both of the overhangs, the front door and the side door, they were on 24 seven. Um, and now they're off. <laughs> So that's good. That tells me that hopefully they're done with the outside work and um, we'll see tonight when we're here doing the plywood. Uh, it'll be very evident if then when it starts to get dark, if all these lights come on at the same time. It's going to be awesome. I, I hope that's the case. And then the signs are going to be um, with them as well. So we're going to go check the storage room out as well and sent another cleaning person to help us out too. So we've just had all kinds of fun people here today. How's it going upstairs, guys? We're done. You're done. Did it all fit? Yeah. And we don't even have shelves up there yet. Sure. Sure. So we're doing pretty good. <laughs> all right, guys. So <laughs> we got a minute of quiet time here. 
I'm gonna walk you around um, and show you the storage room upstairs that we were gonna take a look at and we're gonna walk around and make sure doors are locked because I think I'm finally here alone and then I'm actually gonna sit down and work on the computer for a few minutes and try to get some of the things done you know, on my normal to-do list that need to get done. Uh, here in my office, I wanted to show you something fun for those of you that are part of our dance family. We have large, you can kind of see, they're pretty large compared to my hand here, large car decals that we're gonna do a really fun, like, game thing with. Maddie A and I just got it all kind of worked out, the details of what we're gonna do, and it's gonna be super fun. So, I wanted to share that with you. Um, so we're just gonna make sure they had a lot of doors propped open during the day as the different contractors, electricians, that kind of stuff were here. So we're just gonna make sure that we turn some of turn some lights off. And doors are latched and actually shut tight. So I'm really excited to see later tonight if all the exterior lights do what they're supposed to do. And then the other thing I'm kind of excited to see is the front sign, what they call a monument sign. Yeah, out the window here, we see the back of it. Do you see the back, the black right there? Um, the front of it says Allison's Dance Center and is pink. And that is supposed to be a lit sign and we have not seen it lit yet. Not sure what that means, not sure if the bulbs are burnt out. If it needs some new replacement parts like the parking lot lights, or if the breaker's just not turned on to it, or I don't know, maybe it'll just turn on tonight with these other exterior lights. I'm not sure. So we're going to keep an eye out uh, tonight for that. I'm excited. Uh, making sure everything's locked, and then we'll head upstairs and take a look up there at what they got done in the storage room. So, exciting. Um, so, it's such a crazy time right now. Um, for those of you who know me, I'm a planner. I like to plan my day, I like to time block. You know, like that is when I am operating the best, when I'm the most efficient, when I get my work done that I'm supposed to get done, is when I'm able to time block out a schedule and follow it and you know lately that's been really hard to do because different contractors and stuff cleaning ladies whatever it might be are showing up at different times and sometimes I don't even know that they're coming and <laughs> like today is a prime example of that and so just a little bit of a I guess a note to those of you who are, might be working on a project like this in the future or um, just starting something or whatever, just know that you've got to kind of put your flexible pants on for the time being. So the cleaning lady that was here looks like she did this hallway um, and maybe this hallway. I still see like there's footprints kind of right in that area. Oh, she must have, because look, that's wet right there still. You can kind of see water right there. So yeah, we're getting there as far as the cleaning goes. This is the storage room that our staff had cleaned. And then <laughs> put a bunch of stuff in. So we've got Christmas stuff up here. Awesome, all the summer camp stuff. Random stuff that we use for the studios. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, we've got most of it up here. Now we just need to bring the shelves and get this stuff organized a little bit, but it's like every day is one step closer. You kind of have to be okay with that. I know some of us like to take big <laughs> take big steps and move quickly through things and you know at some point you just have to understand that it, you're not going to move that quickly through some of these bigger projects uh, ooh, this floor you did as well 
Um, she did not do the ledges or anything like that. She just kind of did a once over on the floor, which is helpful. I mean, it gets that first kind of layer up, but you can see there's still a lot of paint, um, paint on the floor, but good, good start uh, to this room anyway. So that's good. It is just, it feels so warm. Yeah, 64%. 64% humidity, if you can see that. And it's, we're losing it. There we go. Um, 73. Set at 74. Apparently, I don't know. Utilities, CFU, our local utility company, and the, contra the HVAC contractor. Apparently, they said that keeping it a little bit warmer is actually going to help pull the humidity out. I'm trusting them. They, they have to know what they're talking about, right? But to me, it just seems like, you know, if you cool things down, if you keep, um, or, or at least keep that forced air moving, right? Whether it's cold or hot in the winter, it might be the heat, but you keep that forced air moving versus just let something sit. It just, it seems like the humidity comes out a little bit more in the air, but I could be wrong. So we, or they adjusted actually um, the, I think she did this room too. Um, we adjusted the temperatures in the studio a little bit to actually make them a little warmer because they thought that that might pull the humidity out a little bit. So I don't know, it's all trial and error, I think. But, um, she did do the floor in here too. It smells good. This room is the purple studio. And this room did not have any uh, construction, but construction dust gets everywhere. So um, they were, you know, not, it's kind of like you have to choose. Are you going to be super careful about blocking off vents and blocking off? around the doors and things like that to ensure that sheetrock dust doesn't get into rooms or are you just gonna clean it later? So we're kind of just doing the clean it later method here. But um, yeah, so she wiped down this room, uh, this floor as well. I'm curious, I mean, this doesn't look too bad because again, you know, it's, yeah, there's a little bit um of dust on things but it's not like it's not like the other rooms but yeah so this room should be pretty good this is our costume costume room awesome awesome no exterior lighting in that room so it's perfect for costumes so yeah storage is getting to where it needs to be um that room is actually locked for some reason. I don't know who went and shut off these doors, but this room I need to unlock for them so they can get in there and clean that one when they're here. And then I think we're getting, this stuff probably will need one more, like you can kind of see, it's hard to see on the camera, but this area is still really like streaky and stuff just from the um, sheetrock dust being like moved around and then I have to find a key for this door so I'll unlock that one find a key for that one and we should be good yeah what a day what a day <laughs> I didn't anticipate a lot of things that happened today but again that's what happens you adjust you make things work um, for example luckily my parents are close by and so my dad was able to meet my kids at home and get them off the bus. That was something I was supposed to do today. And it just, I mean, it could have happened, but then like no computer work would have got done. So you adjust, show you. So I'm not sure, I didn't know anything about this, but the other electrician company that was here, apparently these needed to be replaced, but <laughs> But if you look closely now, they had painted around them. So now we have this like, yeah. So 
I don't know. We might just touch these up, to be honest with you. Um, if you've been watching the vlog, you know, you know what a challenge we've had um, with the painters and spilling and getting it on carpet and things. So it might just be easier, honestly, for us to do to do that. But um, that wasn't the only one they replaced. They replaced, I think, all of them <laughs> or a lot of them throughout the building. So, yeah, fun fun times but we are getting closer closer and closer so there is still things to happen tonight we have to it feels like you know this day's lasted forever but um we still have to get that plywood here get it up the stairs and check on those exterior lights at the end of the night too so um, i'll keep you guys posted all right okay to add to the randomness of the day trying to hunt down a key for this lock um like i mentioned this room the internet guy thinks might be um, in the closet of this room might be where kind of the centralized location for the second floor media kind of stuff is so this door had been propped open all summer um and now it is shut so looking for a key and we have a whole box of keys for this building i do not think any of these work but i'm checking it needs to be it's going to be a smaller size key like what this one is um not these big keys like what most of the building keys are these bigger keys so that makes it a little bit easier but I've already looked through here once and there was only one other key. I'm gonna do it one more time just to check before we have to pay for a locksmith to come open the door that got shut that wasn't supposed to. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, guys. Um, I'll keep you posted. I, I don't think I'm gonna find it, but I'll keep you posted. Nope, no luck. <laughs> All these keys and there's only two that are the smaller and neither of them work, but is what it is so um we are gonna have to call the locksmith to come let us in this door unfortunately and the keypad isn't even like even if we could try to figure out what the it's not even doing anything so so yeah and this is the only keys key box key whatever that we found um so i don't think there are any more keys so so all the fun all the fun things right i'm guessing maybe cleaning ladies as they were cleaning um to get back behind those doors maybe shut them but oh well it's what it is so all right so we're gonna do plywood here next so that'll be coming very soon i'll keep you guys updated all right guys so the guys have been hard at work with plywood for about half an hour now so um let's take a look and see what it's looking like it smells like plywood in here <laughs> Here it comes. You guys are on the vlog, working hard. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> so that plywood goes in and then all the way up the stairs. It smells like plywood in here. <laughs> plywood. <laughs> So they're about oh getting getting close to halfway probably close anyway so we'll go check out what it looks like upstairs in just a minute all right so now we're upstairs let's see where it's going so for now they're taking it in to the pink studio and you know how many go in each one, right? 
so they're kind of for now just taking them here and then it'll shift or no that one's done oh with God. this yeah. right yeah, we'll bring the got it so there's two two different kinds um the tongue and groove and the the half inch and so um this is the three quarter inch that's still going in so so many in each room oh yeah we got a good stack in here <laughs> see how tall that is um, so this will all go in here and then there'll be a stack of half inch for each of these two studios as well so it's gonna smell very plywoody in here for a little bit I have a feeling but the guys are doing great um, getting their cardio and their steps in <laughs> for sure uh, which is why we knew we needed some help. This big of piece, unfortunately, won't fit in the elevator. And so it's just one of those things. Um, when the mirrors get delivered, same thing. They'll have to bring them up the stairs because they're just too big. They won't fit in the elevator. So, yeah, but thankful, thankful for the help because I'm not a lot of help with something this heavy and, and big. So... <laughs> We got the brothers working together here. It's like bonding. It's bonding too. This isn't bonding. <laughs> no, we're making this work. We're fighting on it. Nope. <laughs> Traffic jam. All right, so yeah, this is the heavier of the two, um, so they kind of chose to do this, which makes sense, and then switch and do the lighter stuff second when you're a little bit more tired. So yeah, awesome. Um, and then the next step is getting the foam on the back of all these boards and um, actually getting them on the floor. So that'll be next after we get it up here. So that'll probably be tomorrow's vlog or Saturday's vlog that we'll keep you posted on um, the floor actually getting laid. All right. Bye guys. All right. We're going to wrap up today's vlog. I just felt like I needed to say something quick. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if it came across this way or not, but I definitely had kind of a rough day today, uh, with just everything just flying at me. Like I, I the only way I can describe it is like thinking about, I don't know, like you're standing out on a, on a field and people are just like throwing balls at you every which way. And then all of a sudden you thought it was baseballs and all of a sudden footballs come flying or, um, random, random things come flying at you. Uh, that's really what today felt like. And I'm a planner. <laughs> I'm very organized. I like things to happen. Um, I'm happiest. Let's put it that way. I'm happiest and feel most productive and, and good about myself and what I'm doing when things go mostly, you know, 80, 90 percent you know, as planned. And <clears throat> so when I have days like today, I can get a little um, crabby and kind of thrown off, I guess would be a way to say it. But I just wanted to make sure if it did come across that way, I just wanted to finish up this vlog by making sure that while I might get a little crabby in the weeds, if you will, you know, in those little details and small details, overall, I am so grateful and appreciative to be living out this, this life. Um, I get to live my dream, right? Basically, and on such a big scale and affect so many people and, um, I just, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, even, even after today's like today where I'm like, gosh, this is not, this is not my thing. Like, I don't like this. Um, but even after days like today, I, I don't want to do anything else. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to end on that note because I'm not sure I haven't watched the other videos back. Um, I just know how I felt inside today and I definitely felt very much like out of control and pulled in 800 different directions. I got a little bit of office work done, but not a lot. So it's late and now I'm back in the office. Um, that's kind of how it goes. But 
Anyway, I just wanted to end on that note that regardless of how crazy the day to day can get and those little things can get and as overwhelming as certain days can be, I still at the end of the day just smile and think I am so lucky and I am so fortunate. I am so happy. I don't, I do, would not trade this for anything else. So I just want to make sure I was clear about that. Um, all right, guys. And I didn't, I wasn't able to stay late enough. I had to pick up my boys from my parents. So I was not able to stay late enough to see the parking lot lights and the exterior lights. Um, I am sure sometime soon I will be there late enough to see that. Uh, Josh was, he had to take a trailer back and then come back and get the lift and take that back. And so, um, he was, but it was just getting dark, but he said they kicked on and they kicked on at the, at the right time. He just couldn't really see how much they lit up the parking lot because he, it was just barely starting to get dark, um, when he was there and then leaving. So we'll keep you posted on that, but hopefully it's a big difference um, in the parking lot with brand new lights throughout the parking lot. So, all right guys, well, lots and lots and lots going on. So probably another vlog coming at you uh, within the next couple days for sure. All right, bye.